don't know if you can hear the van going, but I've just had my new Samson here, the Samson Crystal UHD 8 Series. This is the 2800 PQI. Oh, what's that? Some of you might say. Well, stay tuned, watch the video, look in the description, you'll find out. This TV comes with dynamic crystal display. This is like makes things a bit more lifelike, uh, realistic. Uh, we've got dual LED. It's got double the kind of power and things being less uh, stress on the processor and more on the picture. Um, with this crystal processor uh, enhanced for 4K, dedicated for 4K there. Yes, Alexa built in, Google Assistant built in, Apple AirPlay compatible. So it's not actually built in or something, but it's what it works with. Um, doesn't say anything about Android, but this will mirror cast with your Android phone and stuff like that. And yes, uh, 55 inches. Um, so it's the same size as my previous one. Uh, but this has got uh, so much new features like the built-in uh, voice assistants there. Let me unbox that. This is how it's boxed with the polystyrene packaging. So we have this little handy pack with the registration and potentially a little manual or something that's setting up. Uh, remote control with the Netflix button and uh, Prime Video, nice. And then your power lead, back to the remote. And another remote, must be the voice one. The setup guide. I'll tell you how to put the screws in. I'll show you that myself. And here we've got a stand. That's part of the stand. That will go in the back of the TV. TV there, wrapped. There's a TV stand. It sits in there. And that's black plastic on the front. And behind, there is steel, solid steel in there. So we've got uh, on here, as you can see, a protective cover. Here we have, going to the side, uh, th three, uh, three HDMI, sorry, three HDMI ports. The aerial and satellite. HDMI there. And the optical. Oh, sorry, these ones, one of these, HDMI, HDMI with arc, HDMI, that's the three HDMIs. That is USB. And then you've got your USB up there, five volt. They're both five volt actually. So, yeah, separated, a bit slightly weird. And the power connection goes in there. It comes with a TV stand. Uh, there's some screws on the bottom of this, take them out, and also in the bottom of this. Then, this way, when you click, click it in place. Then you'll need to take this piece off. You just pull it at the sides there. Or maybe at the bottom there. But you take that off, and now you can get to the screw holes here. Right, so all the screws in the bags, there's two bags, they both seem to be the same M4s, and then I've screwed them in, you don't need a Phillips screwdriver, okay? So they're in, and that means I can now replace the bag. Now to fit the bracket, we need the TV laying flat. Oh yeah, you can probably do it standing up or something, but uh, average, this is the safest way. I need to turn this up, Plug all my connections in and we'll see with the TV on. Yeah, my optical tree, I've had that years. Hard to find them. So, the TV. Starts off with the smart things. If you've got a smartphone, your phone should pop up an announcement saying it's found a new device you want to connect. 
that's fine. This will also connect to your Wi-Fi without you having to put a password in if you use smart things because it's all stored on your phone. I'm going to kind of skip to the next page and show you what the setup is like here. So you choose your country. Don't know if that light blue back text on the white shows out, but that is what it says. So I select that. A um, bit annoying, I don't like pins to really do my head in, but um, it seems to be the thing. And hopefully you shouldn't have to use it too often. So there we go, we've got telling me what's connected. Well, that's the TV, so that's the normal TV. Then I've got my satellite connected. I've actually got HDMI connected, which is on. But it's not, oh, it's because it's under the uh, the arc. So that's why it's coming up there. And that's my Blu-ray player. But I've just done the right arrow and it's gone. Aerial or dish, and then it wants a type, which is digital. And then down to next. So you choose your options. This is basically a normal type of setup. Uh, you find your Wi-Fi, you put your password in. Now, this is actually the 65 version I have now. And basically, We've got a couple of guides. We've got your standard guide. Now, the way to use this is if you move to the left and then go up and say, let's go to something else. Whatever this is, click that. And as you can see in the top left corner, it will change to that channel. But if you do it in here, and you click, it will actually go into the program full screen. Which is a bit annoying, I'd rather it just be similar to what this does here. But I, I noticed it, it's not in the manual, <clears throat> but that's a tip and trick there. The top guide at the top with the options, saying what the options are on that um, here. That never goes away and it's a bit annoying. Now there is another way to browse the channels. So we just did the guide here, but up here called channel list. Now that's quite good. If you go to the left section of it and go up, you can switch between whether you want a normal aerial, satellite, or free sat. So free sat will come up uh, not quite the same as free view. Your wizard. You don't get the preview icons, but you basically are able to then browse loads of channels from satellite. Um, some channels don't exist and then some other channels will be in there. So they, they do vary. So choosing satellite is different again. The channel numbers all change. So you've got a choice. There's, a, there's millions of BBC channels on there. And then we go back to the left and choose terrestrial again. And then if you press the home button, we get this. So we scroll left until we get this source. And it's got TV, but it doesn't have the satellite things. So that is missing from this area. It's just the... Um, 
the channels from Samsung. So to get back to that, what you want, pressing guide and then scrolling up. Look at this, thousands of channels there. I think they're all streaming online. Uh, and then we get the channels, whichever, whatever we, we chose. So basically that's a free view. You have to go right up. But this, this TV does come with the voice assistants, Google and Alexa. So all you need to do is to get on this remote control of theirs. Volume up and down. Just push it up, push it, push it up and down like that. And then the same with the channels. But we press this and we go channel 100. So that's worked. It's a bit slow there. That wasn't it totally fluid. Um, but otherwise, you know, it's, it's handy having the voice remote if you don't want to scroll through, you know, with all these hundreds of channels. It's also got the next flicks button and the prime video button on there. And also on the standard remote that most people are used to also has the Netflix and Prime Video buttons on there. Um, this is very handy for pausing uh, a lot of the videos on these channels. And then you've got Home on there. And then you've got your apps, including, for example, YouTube and the other players. This is also compatible with the Apple um, stream Apple Play so it's not a bad TV so that's how to use the menus and get to the channels um, I'll basically just go through the settings quickly so once you've gone into the broadcasting auto tuning settings so you choose the auto tuning it doesn't seem to be like an option and then you click start you then get the type you want and you highlight that select it and you can go through so you basically have to scan if you've got satellite and terrestrial you need to scan them both and get them all listed into your tv and then that way when you press the uh, channel list button there it comes up on the side um if any of you have any problems you can always comment below Thanks.